Hello and welcome. Now in this video we are going to work inside of a card and we're actually going to create a checklist. And in order to do that we're just going to click inside of one of the cards and then we're going to click the checklist link. We're going to name the checklist and then we're going to click add. Once we add that checklist then we can begin to add steps to complete the checklist. And in order to do that, we're just going to write inside of the dialog box. But once you have written out each step, what you can do is you can then convert one of your checklist items to a card. You can do that by hovering over the actual link, and then you can click Convert to Card. You can also delete the task if you feel it's inappropriate. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close out this dialog box, and we're going to X out so we can turn the card around and take a look to determine what the checklist is going to look like from the other side. And you'll see that any time that you have a checklist, you'll have a checkbox, and then you'll have the number of tasks completed, and then the number of tasks left to be completed. So in order to go in and actually work with the actual tasks that you are counting, you're going to click inside of the link, and then you're going to check off the tasks as you complete them. And you'll notice that the completion bar will tell you how close you are to completing this particular task. Now again, you can have a due date associated with this card so that when this task is completed or when all the tasks are completed, you can consider the card to be complete according to the due date. So we're going to continue to check off the boxes. And now our box is fully complete. And what we can do then is we can either hide the completed items or delete the entire checklist. Once the task has been complete, you can go to the other side of the card. You'll notice that the number of tasks completed reflects what we have already done. Now, if you wanted to follow the activity on this particular card, in particular when these items were completed, you can always click the Show Details button. And then you'll be able to follow the activity and you'll be able to tell when these boxes were actually checked off at a particular time. We can then rehide those details once we've completed our view of them. And so now we're going to go back to the front and we have now completed our work with checklists. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.